Hello and welcome to episode 4 in my guide to precision farming. Today we're going to be looking at variable seed application. Now this is something that is completely new to precision farming and FS22. So let's take a little look at it in the help guide first. So it says variable seed rate. For some crops, the Precision Farm and DLC has the option of adjusting the seed rate in different zones of each field. In some zones, you can reduce the seed rate while still maintaining the same yield level. On the other hand, some areas may require a higher seed rate to improve the competitiveness against weeds and reach the full yield potential. Three seed rate options are available, low, standard and high. Selecting an automatic seed rate option will always give the best seed rate for each part of the field. In this mode, the standard seed rate is used for sandy loam, the highest seed rate for loamy sand, except for canola, where high seed rates will reduce yield. The loam soil has the highest fertility and yield potential, and so the lower seed rate is better, while silty clay is a challenging soil type and a higher seed rate compensate for lower emergence in the poorer seedbed conditions. The crop for which a variable seed rate is available and the optimum seed rates for soil types are shown in the table below. While seeding in manual mode, the soil bars below the circles indicate which of the free seed rate positions is optimal for the current soil type. And then below we have our crop, soil types, and what rate you need to be in. Now, with the time of year we're in, all we can plant is canola anyway. So it's just going to give us standard and low. And then once you're done, I'm guessing that's when you get this, because we have, if I go back into our map, we've got all our soil types, got our pH levels, got our nitrogen, and especially on these two, this field here, we did everything with a scanner attached as well. And also as we went over this one and sp uh, spread the slurry, we had a scanner on as well. So when we go over to yield and seed rate, it isn't showing us what seed rate we should be putting in. So we'll have a scanner at the front give us the seed rate we need while we're doing or does it just come from applying the seed and then it just showing the rate that we put in rather than telling us what to do those of you that are eagle-eyed will notice I now have a worker going off in the background and my soil has changed um, this field I didn't notice it this field was actually showing a seeded state yet no seeds it was it was saying cultivated showing a seeded state and so was the, the other one so uh i've had to do a little rewind here <laughs> because i've already tried to seed it and it didn't work uh, it's nothing to do with any mods it's nothing to do with the, uh, the games or anything broken it just already was showing a seeded state i've practiced this time to make sure it seeds and it has so i've cultivated this this has still had the uh, slurry on it that one's still got its slurry on and he's just going to be cultivating that for me so that we can see that so jump in everything's good everything's fine my variable seed rate is showing 52 before it just kept saying zero and i, I was really confused like why isn't it working i've <laughs> i'll be quick I've been out of the save, I've been on three other maps, I've checked where the variable seed rate works on base game and on other mod maps and it did and I couldn't work out why it wasn't working here. I came back in and I look at, took a look at the soil and I was like, oh, it's already seeded, but there is no crop in the ground. So, yep, time has elapsed, a work has gone on and we are ready to go. The things we do, eh? So it is down, we are on canola, and it's time, it's going to work. There we are, we are getting seeds in the ground, you can see that the seed is going down, it is emptying, 
and it's on auto so it's running at standard in the middle if we turn that off it will show you now we've got the grey dots underneath so if you wanted to do this manually you can because the we know as a farmer sitting in that tractor we know what our soil type is even if we can't remember so he does and uh, he knows where it should be because we haven't got a crop sensor on so if I just turn that on crop sensor is turned on as well uh, but I don't think that's going to give us any difference I think that purely is for um, after our next harvest when our old information is irrelevant right now that sensor is going to give us the new information so I'm thinking that the uh, the larger one may not be as worthwhile. I'm thinking sensors attached to tractors, or what was it ten grand? I think everything's about ten grand. Is maybe worth more throughout the course of your gameplay than say buying that big one although I guess the difference is you could then put the attachable one on any tractor and this is just fit uh, the sensor is just fit to this one tractor but if you only have a couple of tractors you can I don't know stick them on all of them or just have one that does the sensoring as it goes round if you've got one that's going to do your cultivating each time then that can be the one with the sensor on So let's just have a little look in our map and it is now showing standard seed rate because automatically that's what we put in and manually that's what we put in. So I am going to finish seeding this field on automatic, switch that back to auto and see. best of turns. That is uh, seed rate application. It is working it with the soil type to reduce your use of seeds and still producing the same yield of crop. I think it's, it's pretty much that simple. I think this is something that maybe sounded complex in the uh, in the written part but is very simple especially if you're using automatic it's another thing whereas if you're going to run this manually probably a little bit more complex remembering what sort of soil you've got where because that's not visible on the minimap if the minimap would show your soil type then manual variable seeding would probably make more sense. I mean, you could always do it so you manually seed it on standard the first time and then see where your wastage is, I guess, from your yield. But then that's a whole year's crop sort of experimental waste. I'll stick it on automatic is always going to be right. So I guess that's all down to preferred gameplay style. So I think that is it for variable feeds, or variable feeds, variable seed rate. So hopefully I've managed to touch on a few things that will help you and hopefully you have enjoyed it even with my little mishap with my, uh, my ground texture. So if you have enjoyed it, please give the video a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know how you're finding precision farming, what's working for you. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.